if you have money without wisdom, you will soon be parted from your money. The best things in life take time, takes relationships. You've got the money, but because it was given to you quickly, you didn't build the infrastructure to sustain it. You don't have the relationships to sustain it. You don't have the information to sustain it. And most people who hit the lottery, 70 to 80% of them go broke within five years. You've been stabbed by suppose. You lay in the bed wrestling with ghosts of what ifs and maybes and suppose and I think and I heard and I felt and you wake up tired in the morning because you, you might have slept but you didn't rest because all in your sleep you've been fighting. The best things in life take time. There are things that you learn from struggling. There are things that you learn from tests and trials and trial and error. And it's amazing to me that every so often, no matter who you are, where you live, or how much faith you have, or what you drive, trouble comes right to your house. It meets you at the door, it challenges you in ways that you cannot always control or correct, and you have to endure. Endurance is a part of crushing. Real decisions that move your life along are not coming out of your emotions, they're coming out of your head. Real opportunities that God would open up for you have to come out of your head and not out of your feelings. Every day, we are crushed in ways that people cannot see. Some relationships are seasonal. Some opportunities are seasonal. And yet when we see the seasons change, we think the blessing has ceased. But it is not that the blessing has ceased, it is that the season has changed. As we endure the pain and go through the agony, agony like being misunderstood, agony of not feeling loved, agony of being underemployed or unemployed, or agony of losing a job or a spouse or a loved one. I mean real agony. I'm not talking about you lost your parking space. I'm talking about real agony that tries your soul, that pushes you to the breaking point, that you feel like you're gonna bleed through your skin. You have to know that that does not mean that you're not recovering. That recovery hurts too. Counseling hurts, therapy hurts. Confronting old issues and digging out old wounds, that's hurtful stuff and difficult to talk about, but if we don't get to the root of it, will never be well. If you are still talking the way you were talking 10 years ago, I've got bad news for you. You have a deformity, a spiritual dysfunction that keeps your thoughts in one dimension. That means you can't fall in love with your thoughts. A person who does not function out of their head is a person without government. A person who moves totally out of their emotions is exempt from the greater opportunity than life.